Welcome to This Week in Dinosaurs for the week of May 1st, 2016. Ligaments in some dinosaurs' necks help them graze more efficiently. Montana State University paleontologist Carrie Woodruff says diplodocid sauropods had split spines that may have supported two elastic ligaments. When the dinosaurs extended their necks to feed on the left side, the ligament on the right side was stretched, storing energy. As the neck swung back to the right, that energy was released. The same recoil action happened when the sauropods swung their necks to the right. Woodruff's study helps explain why diplodocid sauropods used a sweeping motion to eat, while sauropods with undivided spines moved their heads up and down. His work may help to correct misconceptions about diplodocid sauropods, which include dinosaurs like Apatosaurus and Diplodocus. Textbook illustrations, for example, have shown the dinosaur eating foliage from the tops of trees. Woodruff said paleontologists used to study giraffes to better understand the necks of diplodocid sauropods, but there are no modern animals that closely compare. A better subject, one that Woodruff uses in his sauropod studies, is a breed of cattle known as Ankol Watusi from Africa. Its neck supports massive horns that can extend 8 feet. Woodruff published his findings recently in Historical Biology. Fossil teeth suggest seeds saved bird ancestors from extinction. When the dinosaurs became extinct, plenty of small, bird-like dinosaurs disappeared along with giants like Tyrannosaurus and Triceratops. Why only some of them survived to become modern-day birds has remained a mystery. Now researchers suggest that abrupt ecological changes following a meteor impact may have been more detrimental to carnivorous bird-like dinosaurs, and early modern birds with toothless beaks were able to survive on seeds when other food sources declined. Researchers studied over 3,000 fossilized teeth from bird-like dinosaurs spanning 18 million years up until the end of the Cretaceous. They found that the teeth maintain their differences over time, indicating a rich and stable ecosystem. The meteor strike at the end of the Cretaceous would have affected sun-dependent leaf and fruit production in plants, but hardy seeds could have been a food source until other options became available again. There were bird-like dinosaurs with teeth up until the end of the Cretaceous where they all died off abruptly, says Derek Larson, lead author of the study. Some groups of beaked birds may have been able to survive the extinction event because they were able to eat seeds. The largest species to ever walk the earth may have been born with adult-like proportions. Rapidosaurus is a type of titanosaur, the largest land vertebrates to have evolved. It is estimated to have reached lengths of 15 meters, and while several fossils of it have been found, very little is known about this species around the time of hatching. Analysis of a new Rapidosaurus fossil suggests that the youngster, who died likely from starvation, between the age of 39 and 77 days, weighed roughly 3.4 kilograms when it was hatched. By the end of its brief life, it had reached a mass of roughly 40 kilograms and was 35 centimeters tall at the hip. Based on the compactness of its bones, the authors say that this dinosaur's limbs likely remain similar in shape throughout its life. This is in contrast to other dinosaur groups like theropods, whose limb proportions are different at birth than adulthood, suggesting that parental care was important for them. Therefore, the authors propose that Repetosaurus infants may have been relatively independent after birth compared to other species. Be sure to subscribe to the channel because we have a free contest coming in just a few days. You will be able to enter to win these two brand new Jurassic World Dino Hybrid toys from Hasbro. The hybrid effects Tyrannosaurus Rex and Owen Alpha with Velociraptor Blue will be going to one lucky winner. Subscribe and stay tuned to the channel for more information coming soon. That's all for this week. And until next time. Rawr!